What is up, Bruins fans? Today, we're bringing you a clip from the most recent episode of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast with hosts Mark Allred, Sam Smith, and Dom Tiano as they discuss the most recent rumors around Bruins forward Jake DeBrusque. He's another one that is kind of up in the air right now. He is, uh, his contract is up. He's an unrestricted free agent uh, as of July 1st. Um, you know, DeBrusque, he's kind of been up and down with the Bruins since he arrived with the Bruins in the 17-18 season. His best season was two seasons ago when he had 27 goals and 50 points in the season, and he had a phenomenal playoff run the past two years. Um, do you guys think this is the last we've seen of Jake DeBrusque in the black and gold, or do you think he'll get a contract this summer? I, I don't think he's coming back. Um, my honest opinion is, um, and I'm getting, I'm cherry picking this from several different people that have written about it and talked about it on their own podcast as well is that if a player traditionally in Boston, if a player is not signed within the season, um, I don't, I don't believe that they're coming back. So I think that uh, Jake DeBrusk is going to test free agency. Obviously that uh, we're, you know, very short time away from July 1st. Um, and uh, I heard on the uh, Missing Curfew hockey podcast with Shane O'Brien and Scotty Upshaw, uh, they had Louis DeBrusque, uh, Jake's father, on. And, of course, Louis wasn't going to give anything. But he did say that, you know, Jake is very optimistic on where he's going to end up. But he loves Boston, uh, obviously would love to stay. But Louis did say that he's very excited to see what other teams in the NHL think of his value and, and, you know, what he could get, uh, whether it be uh, money and term elsewhere. So, you know, um, I think Jake's very motivated to see what's going on, regardless if he stays in Boston or not. Uh, the latest I got on it was that the gap had closed, <clears throat> not close close enough to make a deal imminent, but enough to keep the lines of communication open. And, um, you know, to play off what Mark said on, on Louis's words, um, the curiousness to see what else is offered out there could also be a negotiation ploy where, um, you know, let's use Tyler Bertuzzi as an example. The Bruins offered him five years, $5 million, and he thought he could get better someplace else. And lo and behold, he couldn't. What did he get? A one-year deal worth $5 million. bucks. Um, so, um, you know, he, he could go to free agency, see that the market isn't where he and his agent thinks it is, and turn back to the Bruins. Would I put money on that happening? No, but it's a possibility. I mean, it's I can't rule anything out with this guy. Uh, the trade request a couple of years ago it's rescinded. He comes back, and he plays some really good hockey two seasons ago. Last This past season, back to what we were kind of seeing before, a little bit more of inconsistency, um, he gets hot at certain times, um, but he's a playoff performer. And I think that the Bruins are looking for more of those type guys like Jake DeBrusque, where they perform well in the postseason. But I think they also need some guys to perform well in the regular season as well, as well as the playoffs. And I think if DeBrusque can get that consistency, it will be great. But ideally, I don't think DeBrusque will come back either. I, I think. DeBrusque will probably think that he probably is worth maybe a little more than what he might actually get. I, I hate to say that, but it's probably is what it, it probably is what it is. I don't know if you guys agree with that. He might think he's worth a little more than what he get than what he might actually get. I I mean I don't I, know. I could see him getting five somewhere or, or even in Boston if he's signed. Um right. But I, I also think it's important to to understand too that a lot of people don't like Jake DeBrusque because of his inconsistencies on the score sheet. And, and I, that's a valid, valid, you know, gripe. But if you look at his game totals when you uh, go to NHL.com and look at his player profile, his, he is consistent 16, 17 minute player. 
throughout the year, right around those numbers. I'm not going to, you know, be 100% accurate on my take here. But if a player was, you know, not, if a, a coach was not happy with a certain player, you would see his minutes drastically go down game by game, even get sat and so on. So it seemed to me that, J, uh, that Jim Montgomery had a lot of trust in him to work his way out of the funk that he's in. But also keep in mind, he was still good at the four check. He was still good at other uh, sides of the game away from the park that a lot of people neglect to actually see, um, which he can also be streaky on that side as well. But I just like the way that Jim Montgomery handled this was to give him as many minutes as, as possible to try to work it out. And he was just still, in my opinion, still effect, an effective player throughout the year, um, regardless of those inconsistencies. Yeah, I think the bus is going to get more than five million on the open market. Oh, I, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I I think he's going to come into the six and a half to seven range. Somebody's going to pay it. Hmm. It won't be Boston though. It won't no, be Boston. I I don't think so either. I don't think the Bruins are willing to give DeBrus that money. People in the chat are saying that they think that they think DeBrusque has gone too. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, who knows? Who knows what? De, who knows what DeBrusque will? Uh, DeBrusque will get. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen some crazier stuff before. So you, mm -hmm. you can't you can't really predict anything until July first when free agency opens up, and that's when all hell breaks loose and everything. Yep. Like what you saw? Be sure to come back on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for episode 358 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast, live on YouTube as hosts Mark Allred, Sam Smith, and Dom Tiano discuss upcoming Bruins free agency and the 2024 NHL Winter Draft. See you then.